In addition to our two basic low pass and high pass filter types, we can also have more complex designs that are called a band pass and a band reject. So you can imagine that if I had a band here, and we'll call this frequency one, frequency two, and then there's still a corner frequency, if signals within the band are allowed, but signals outside of the band are rejected, then this will be called a band pass filter. So this is a band pass filter. And the opposite is also true, that if I have some sort of range of frequencies, so let's say there's a band here for W1, and a band here for W2, and I have some sort of you know, center frequency, if we reject things in the middle, but allow things on the edges of the band, so we allow things here and here, this would be called a band reject filter. And band pass and band reject are sort of special applications of filters. You can imagine using a band reject filter if you have a noise of a known frequency and you know that you want to remove it. So often when cables are routed near electrical lights, there is 60 hertz noise. And so one could imagine designing a band reject filter to remove that 60 hertz noise from your signal. In the same way, if we're dealing with like audio, we know the ranges of acceptable human vocals. And so we may want to design a filter that rejects frequencies lower than human sound and reject frequencies above human sound so that we preserve the certain vocal frequencies. All of these filters have different applications and different designs. And we will see in a bit how to use all those designs to create the things we like.